Tonight at 10, violent clashes between police and protesters in central London. They came as the protesters, including some far-right activists, claim they were protecting statues from anti-racism demonstrators. The Home Secretary condemned the clashes. The individuals that are perpetrating violence, thuggery and this shameful behaviour should expect to face the full force of the law. Racism, stigma and social inequality may increase the risk from coronavirus within ethnic minority communities, according to a leaked draft report. A warning from health charities that people shielding from the pandemic are losing trust and need clear information about the risks they face. <laughs> While it's back together again for some people who have been living alone in England and Northern Ireland. Hello, very good evening to you. There were scenes of violence in central London today after demonstrators clashed with police in a day of unrest condemned by the Prime Minister and the Home Secretary. Groups, including some far-right activists, had gathered in the capital saying they were protecting statues from anti-racism protesters. Violence erupted and officers were attacked with bottles, smoke grenades and flares. Six police officers were injured and more than 100 people arrested. Well, Boris Johnson described it as racist thuggery and said that individuals attacking the police would be met with the full force of the law. This report from our correspondent Tom Simons does contain some violent scenes from the start. OK, that's all from me and the team here. Uh, the Chancellor, Rishi Sunak, will be on The Andrew Marr Show tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Uh, that's it, though. Have a very good night. Bye-bye.